Okay, we're going to talk a little bit more about the peritoneum and uh, the relationship between the peritoneum and the viscera. So we just talked about how uh, there is the parietal uh, peritoneum, which covers the lining of the internal surface of the abdominal pelvic wall, and then there's the visceral peritoneum, and this covers the uh, investing viscera or the organs and we looked at some features, uh, for example, the portal triad, the hepatic artery, bile duct, and hepatic portal vein. So now let's talk a little bit more about the peritoneum. So there are intraperitoneal organs, and intraperitoneal organs are almost completely covered with visceral peritoneum. Then there are retroperitoneal organs, and these develop and remain outside of the peritoneal cavity. Then there are subperitoneal organs. And uh, these are um, on the superior surface of the peritoneum. For example, some of the pelvic organs. And then there are uh, those that are secondarily rare. Uh, retroperitoneal, uh, which means that they were once intraperitoneal, but then they got pushed to the body wall, wall to the body wall covering part of the surface with the peritoneum.